Ever since Donald Trump promised to bomb sites of cultural significance to Iran, you've had two groups of his defenders. You have those in the administration pretending that he didn't say that as he says it over and over again. And then you have Fox News where they could not be more delighted. Here is Pete Hegseth. Pete, when you hear the Democrats saying, wait, why did, why did he do this now? Is this related to impeachment? What do you think? I think with friends like these Democrats, who needs the Iranians? Mm. I mean, ultimately, this is the resistance continuing overseas as adamantly as we've seen it here at home. Listen, you may not like President Trump. You may have voted for the impeachment in the House. But if you're if you're someone like Comrade Cortez of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeting, saying that a tweet from the president threatening the Iranians is in and of itself a war crime, you've lost your mind. Wait a second, you, wait a second, that was related to- no, that was related to- the, destroy the cultural 52 sites, one of which yes. might be cultural. Actually, by the way, I don't care about Iranian cultural sites, and I'll tell you why. If they could, if Iran could, if you understand the Islamic Republic of Iran, of Islamists, if they could, if they had the power, they would they would destroy every single one of our cultural sites and build a mosque on top of it. If you don't understand the nature of our enemy, you're foolish about who you're pointing out and, and whether or not you're happy that Soleimani is dead. This guy has exported terrorism for that regime for 40 years, and the fact that Democrats in this country can't take a pause to say, this is a good thing. Now let's figure out how to prevent an Iranian bomb. They just go straight to politics and it's it's shameful. Joining us now to break down this and other big news of the day, Jordan Ewell, welcome back to the damage report. John, thank you for having me. Uh, glad to have you on. Uh, so there you saw Pete Hegseth and there were a few different things that I take issue with in that. But the, the biggest point is that he sort of said something similar to what Trump said, where Trump was like, "Oh, they get to do this and they get to do that and we don't get to bomb their cultural sites as if they've just they they they've been wanting it for so like for so long. They don't understand why there should be a prohibition. Pete Hegseth says, "Oh, they would do it to us." So why shouldn't we be able to? What do, you, what do you think about that sort of philosophy? Well, I mean, first and foremost, like tar deliberately targeting a, a cultural site or a cultural heritage site with no military value is like a violation of international war and a war crime by definition. So it's, it's important to, to establish that at the onset. But this just shows this kind of callous disregard for people in other countries and this militaristic, this jingoistic worldview that embodies that many of the Fox hosts and many Republican pundits and figures embody. They see Iranians in general. I mean, he wasn't distinguishing between military people or just the layperson in general. He was just summarily writing off all Muslims in Iran as people who don't care about our culture or our our cultural sites or people who. Um, you know, it's kind of this like this victim blaming mindset. Um, so, so it's important to understand that that is what shapes uh, this jingoistic foreign policy. It's this view that people on the other side of conflict are subhuman. Mm -hmm. And you know, one other there's a few other things I want to talk about in that. But one thing I noticed was, and I, and I believe Edwin in studio noticed it too. Um, all of a sudden, they uh, they they physically can't say Iran. They have to say the Islamic Republic of Iran. And then he repeated and said Islamists. And so when I tweeted yesterday that there was this like 24 seven bloodthirsty Islamophobia, that that's sort of what I'm referring to there. It's not just that they have a problem with Iran, that Iran is an enemy of ours. It's that they are gleeful that they get to talk about how bad Islam is and how Islam is our enemy. And they are like, we, Bush got in trouble for pitching the war in Iraq as a crusade. They are out and out branding this as a new crusade. What do you, what do you think about that? I mean, this is quintessential Christian fascism. Uh, this is what uh, you know. You, you you remark about the Crusades, like this is just a long-standing conflict, um, and this this jingoism, this xenophobia, this Islamophobia infects right-wing politics, and to an extent, some left-leaning politics as well in the United States. Um, it's easy for them to then write off deaths uh, overseas. It's easy for them to justify military conflict because then it's not just a conflict between two nations. It's then furthering their religion. It's furthering their worldview, and they are they see Islam and Muslims as inherently evil. And just you know, again to go back to what I just said, it's this this view where they see people on the other side of conflict as subhuman. You know, and I believe that I saw that you had tweeted about this in in the past day, and that was that you know it wasn't just by chance. It's Pete Hegseth there talking about how he thinks that we should be committing these war crimes. He's popped up on this topic in regards to Trump before, correct? 
Right, uh, Pete Hegseth, uh, you know, loves defending war crimes and war criminals. Uh, Eddie Gallagher, the Navy SEAL who uh, killed a, a young girl in Iraq who uh, faced a military tribunal for killing a uh, an enemy combatant that they had captured. He would this 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 combatant was receiving medical attention. Eddie Gallagher grizzly, uh, just it was a grizzly murder. He used his knife to just just cut this guy's throat. This guy is psychotic um, and was standing trial for war crimes. And Eddie Gallagher was privately lobbying Trump to pardon him. Uh, he, er, er, Pete Hegseth was privately lobbying Trump to uh, pardon Eddie Gallagher. And this is something that uh, Hegseth has defended multiple times, um, openly advocated for pardoning war criminals in the past. Um, it's just, it's not new. And of course, of, of anyone on Fox, it's this guy. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.